Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for Aki's Outdoor Wireless Speaker, model number SKM17. This is the speaker. It comes with a 31-inch USB charging cable, 47-inch male-to-male audio cable, magnetic coil microphone with quarter-inch plug, and an instruction manual. The speaker is fairly large, measuring 12 inches across and 8.5 inches in diameter. It weighs about 6 pounds, so it's pretty big for a portable speaker. However, it does have a portable 5200 mAh battery, which can last over 8 hours of playback at max volume. The materials used are mid-grade. The plastic is fairly lightweight, but the main body is wrapped in a soft-touch silicone, which gives it a nice texture, though it tends to attract dust and lint. While billed as an outdoor speaker, this seems to only apply in the sense that you could use it in a large open space, not that it's weather or waterproof at all. The speaker actually isn't that rugged, so you won't want to drop it or get it wet. On top of the speaker are two fold-down handles for carrying it. On the right-hand side are the controls and ports for the unit and main drivers. Starting on the left, you have the barrel-style power port for use with the non-standard USB cable. This means that if you lose the cable, you might have trouble finding a replacement. Then you have the playback controls like skip track, play pause, and mode key. There's the power switch, two quarter inch microphone input ports because the unit actually functions as a PA system, which comes in handy for parties and other events. Then you have the aux in port, an EQ bass dial and volume control for the speaker, and volume and echo controls for the mics. The mics can't be controlled independently though, and the echo control is kind of gimmicky. Honestly, I would have rather seen a second volume control knob for the other mic instead of the echo control. To connect and stream music to the speaker, switch it on and it defaults to Bluetooth mode. Choose Aki SKM17 in your device's Bluetooth menu and stream away. The speaker uses two 3-watt drivers and has a 15-watt subwoofer on the opposite side for bass enhancement. Sound-wise, the speaker produces clear, crisp audio that focuses on mids and highs. If it sounds a little boxy, try turning up the bass to fill out the sound and make it fuller and more rounded. However, even at max bass, you just don't get the super low bass response for rumbling and deep lows, which is a bit disappointing for a speaker this spec and size. It almost sounds as if a smaller speaker has just been shoved into a larger housing. Don't get me wrong, the sound isn't bad. It's just that you could probably get the same sound quality in a much smaller package. That said, the volume of the speaker can get pretty loud and it projects well for large spaces. Because the stereo drivers are situated right next to each other, you won't hear a lot of separation between the channels. Clicking the mode button switches the unit to radio mode. You have to plug the aux cable in to act as the antenna, but it actually had better reception than I expected. You can't individually select and tune into channels though. You'll only be able to run the auto scan feature by pressing the play pause button and then navigating between saved channels using the track nav keys. I don't anticipate using this feature often, but I would love to take the speaker to the drive-in theater and pump music through it rather than kill my car battery. Now, onto the mic for the PA system functionality. The cord on the microphone is 10 feet long, so you've got some room to move around while using it. The mic can be used in Bluetooth mode, so you can sing along and karaoke with a track, or just have some background music while speaking. The mic doesn't come with a foam wind guard though, so just be mindful of that on windy days if you do choose to use this PA system outdoors. When in radio mode, the mic overrides the radio signal. So while you'll be able to use the microphone, you won't be able to talk or sing over a radio broadcast. I guess this would be the default setting for just using the mic as a PA system, especially if you're not paired over Bluetooth nor have something plugged into the aux jack. Now, if you use the mic in aux mode, it's the same as in Bluetooth mode, where you can use the mic and it'll overlay with whatever you're playing in the background. Note that the main volume control and bass EQ dials won't affect the mic performance at all. The volume controls for the mic and other source are completely separate. Overall, the speaker works decently well with average to good quality audio. The PA system functionality and its loud projection are the big winners for me here, because if it didn't have these features, I would probably go with a smaller speaker, even at the expense of less power and volume. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.